Prophet وسلم, said in the meaning of which, whoever from among the Muslims dies, and 40 men who do not commit any shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offer his funeral prayer, Allah will accept their intercession for him, narrated by Imam Muslim. He also said in the meaning of which, whoever participates in a funeral until the prayer is performed, then he will have one qirat. And whoever participates in it until the deceased is buried, then you will have two qirat. It was said, what are the two qirat? He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like the two great mountains, agreed upon. Furthermore, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa forbid the following, plastering the graves, sitting on them, and building over them, narrated by a Muslim. The Prophet also prohibited writing over them. It is forbidden to put lights over them, building mosques over them, and performing salah on or towards them. Note, the default is that graves should be outside structures and buildings, so they do not become a means of shirk. Also, they should be built as per the sunnah, which is by being raised by a hand span, and only one or two rocks being placed over them. After burying the deceased, the Prophet وسلم, would stand over them and say, Narrated by Abu Dawood and greatest Sahih, authentic by Al Hakim. It is recommended to offer condolence to the family and of the deceased, which is done once, without gathering in one place or for food. The Prophet وسلم, cried over the dead and said in the of which verily it is mercy, even though he cursed the woman who wailed and the one who listens. The Prophet وسلم, said in the of which visit the graves for indeed they remind of the hereafter. Narrated by Imam Muslim. Furthermore, whoever visits them should say, Assalamu alaikum ahla dari qawmin mu'mineen. وَإِنَّا إِنْ شَاءُ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ لَاحِقُونَ وَيَرْحَمُ اللَّهُ الْمُسْتَقْدِمِينَ مِنْكُمْ وَالْمُسْتَأْخِرِينَ نَسْأَلُ اللَّهُ لَنَا وَلَكُمْ الْعَافِيَةِ اللهم لا تحرمنا أجرهم ولا تفتنا بعدهم واغفر لنا ولهم نسأل الله لنا ولكم العافية Peace be upon you, O people of abode of believers and Muslims. Certainly we will. Allah will enjoin you. Allah do not deprive us of their reward and do not cause us to stray after them. Forgive us and then we supplicate to Allah to grant us well-being and to you. Additionally, any good deed that one performs and intends its reward for a dead or alive Muslim will benefit him. And Allah knows best.